Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will take you through to Gobi Clyde Bay near Lithak archaeological ruins, also said to be the place of world's first temple. Exactly 17 years ago, German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt started a dig at Gobi Clyde Bay located 17 kilometers northeast of Urfa in Turkey. As the excavation went on, Schmidt understood that Gobi Clyde Bay held a secret which could turn the theory of civilization's whole history upside down. The excavation slowly revealed the remains of a 12,000-year-old temple. The site was first discovered in the 1960s. But it was not until the 1990 that excavations began in earnest. The site is located on a hilltop and is made up of a series of stone circles and structures that are thought to have been used for religious or spiritual purposes. The stone circles at Gobi Tepe are composed of upright pillars with some standing as tall as 6 meters. The pillars are carved with images of animals, such as foxes, lions, and bulls, as well as abstract symbols. This reality would startle the whole world. According to archaeologist Schmidt, the region is 5,500 years older than the first cities in Mesopotamia and 7,000 years older than the famous Stonehenge in England. The German Stern magazine announced its article about Gobi Clyde Bay as the ancient site that has overturned civilization's chronology, titled, the palace of Adam and Eve has been discovered. Nowadays, the excavation process still continues at Gobi Clyde Bay. Every day a new piece of information emerges that enables the rewrite of the history of civilization. The site is thought to be at least 11,000 years old making it one of the oldest temple structures in the world. The temple structures at Gobi Kli Tepe predate the development of agriculture, and it is believed that they were built by hunter-gatherer societies. The fact that such a complex and sophisticated temple structure could be built by hunter-gatherers suggests that these societies were much more advanced than previously thought. Gobi Kli Tepe has been the subject of much study and research, and it continues to be a source of mystery and intrigue for archaeologists and historians. The site is not open to the public, but visitors can view a model of the site at the Sanlierfa Museum. Hope you liked the video. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching all our videos.